Good morning. Welcome to our daily devotion. It's uh, Wednesday, November 18th. <clears throat> if you see a little bit of blood on my earlobe, <clears throat> I cut it this morning shaving. wasn't being very careful. Uh, maybe I was too tired. Um, but anyway, uh, welcome. It's Wednesday, November 18th. Good morning, Serena. We're in John chapter 21. I'm going to read verses 12 through 14, where, he, where it said, Jesus said to the disciples, come and have breakfast. None of the disciples dared ask him, who are you? They knew it was the Lord. Jesus came, took the bread and gave it to them and did the same with the fish. This was now the third time Jesus appeared to his disciples after he was raised from the dead. Good morning, Jason. Good morning, Roz. Good morning, John. All you faithfuls. Um, the disciples knew it was Jesus. Uh, they weren't sure at the beginning until Jesus told them earlier to cast their nets on the right side of the fish, boat and they captured a huge amount of fish. But what I want to talk about this morning is, <clears throat> have you ever been fooled? Good morning, Linda. Have you ever been fooled thinking someone was a Christian only to find out that they weren't? Um, good morning, uh, Marcy. Good morning, Will. Uh, Linda, interesting uh, uh, a young man from our that I had by church years ago, just I got a job in Austin, Texas. He's going to be moving there. He's all excited. Uh, <clears throat> anyway, um, I was fooled many times. I remember one time, morning Rose, I was at a, um, at a, a either a grocery store or department store. <clears throat> I was waiting in line and this girl had this, this cross on her, on her, on her, wearing around her neck and she was uh very, she was very friendly uh, with the, with everybody she was polite she was respectful so when I got up to the register I said you must be a Christian and she looked at me like with a blank look on her face I said the cross did you wear it says oh no I just thought that that looked nice she <laughs> she had all the attributes of a Christian but she didn't profess to be one in fact she was shocked when I even asked her uh, why I why I would even think that, and and then there's been times where it was the opposite, uh, where uh, someone at the register was unfriendly, rude, uh, disrespectful, uh, only to find out that he or she was a, a Christian. So you so it's not always easy to to tell. Uh, they knew it was Jesus. We don't always know when someone's a Christian. I'm sure you've seen this on social media. Uh, pe people professing to be Christians that are arguing, disrespectful, rude, uh, hard to, hard, sometimes hard to, to be able to tell uh, a believer from a non-believer. Uh, I've seen Christians with, I'm sure you have too, good morning, Grace. I've seen Christians with bumper stickers, fish or all Christian bumper stickers that should be wearing them that are cutting in and out of traffic, that are speeding, that are giving angry looks, and then they got the Christian bumper sticker in the back. Uh, bad witness, bad witness. Uh, so sometimes it's hard to identify Christians. Uh, so the question is, how, how, how would people identify you as a Christian? How would they know that you're a, a Christian? without talking to you, with just, with, with just your, who you, way you are, the way you act? Uh, would, they, would they know it by your generosity? Would they know it by how that you care about others? Would they know it by your language? Would they know it by the love you show others? Morning, Connie. Uh, people should be able to see qualities, attributes in us that, that, that show that we are a Christian. Uh, in Matthew, Jesus tells us this. Jesus says, you are the salt of the earth. But if salt loses its saltiness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out. You're salt, which means that, that you should give flavor to the earth. People should, should look at you with a smile on their face. Uh, we're salt, not pepper. <laughs> well, people shouldn't be like, 
Pe people should should be drawn towards us. Morning, Sharon. Uh, that's why Jesus says we should be salt. And then he goes on to say, you are the light of the world. A city on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand and it gives light to everyone in the house. Well, you are a light. You should give, you should give light to everyone around you. G Jesus should shine through you. It says, in the same way, let your light shine before people that they may see your good deeds and praise your Father in heaven. People should be able to look at us and know that we're a Christian. Is, is that the case with you? Is that the case with you? Do, do people know that you're a Christian, Will? Do people know that you're a Christian, Sharon? Do people know that you're a Christian, Connie? Do people know that you're a Christian, Grace? I just saw, Grace, I just saw uh, a picture on on Facebook of uh, you and your sister and Dandy out there feeding, taking care of, of the homeless. That picture, that picture is a light. That, that picture is a light. You, you can't look at that picture and, and not smile and, and not find flavor and, 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 and not know that those people love and those people care and those people obviously are Christians. That's what God desires for all of us, for all of us. In, in James 2.18, it says this. Well, let, let, me, let me read more of it, okay? What good is it, my brothers and sisters, if a person you claim to have faith but have no good deeds? What, what good is it if you say, I'm a Christian, but you, but there's no good deeds. There's, there's nothing. There's nothing that people see you doing that would identify you as a as a Christian. Uh, suppose a brother or sister is without clothes or daily food. If one of you says, "Go, I wish you well, keep warm, well fed," but do nothing about their physical needs, what good is it? Especially if you have the means. That's why grace. That's why you. That's why you stood out. Uh, you were given food and clothes to, to the needy. You weren't just talking about it. You were doing it. It says, in the same way, faith by itself, if it's not accompanied by action, is dead. Someone will say, you have faith, I have deeds. Show me your faith without deeds, and I'll show you my faith by what I do. What do you do? What do you do that would show that you're a Christian. What, what, and don't say going to church. Uh, I remember the, uh, there was a survey done years ago, um, uh, and I've talked about this many times, a massive survey with questions of people that attend church regularly, and they determined that half of the people that go to church on Sunday don't have saving faith. They literally don't have saving faith. Uh, so I, I tell people all the time, just because you're in a garage doesn't mean you're a car. Just because you're in a church doesn't mean you're a Christian. You, 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 have to, you have to show that you're a Christian. People have to see it in your, in your daily life. Uh, that's what I hope. I hope people can see that in my daily life. I, hope, I, I, I golf with Sharon, with Sharon's husband, Doug. And, um, and sometimes I get ribbed a little bit um, if, I, if I get a little bit upset with a bad golf shot. Because I've never seen Doug. I've never seen Doug get mad. I've never seen him drop a club. I've never seen him. I've been known to drop a club. I've been known to shake my head. And, and it was funny because Doug said, uh, it must be okay because I see the pastor doing it when we were golfing with his, with his friend the other day. And it's kind of like, it, 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 that convicts me. That convicts me. It's kind of like, no, no, I, I need to show my Christianity even on the golf course. I need to show it when I'm in a grocery store, when I'm in line. I need to see it. I need to show it when I'm driving on a freeway, when I'm driving on a street. I need to show it wherever I'm at. That's what, that's what Jesus says. Be a light. Be a light. Now, a light, a light illuminates. Light illuminates. It shows other people where to, where to go and, and how to get there. And that's what, that's what God has called us to do, okay? 
Uh, Will says, ride dirt bikes. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's, yeah, sure, yes. Show your Christianity when you're out there riding a bike. You know, Will, I got I to gotta commend you. <clears throat> when you had your accidents, for people who don't know, Will lives in, it's a friend of my brother, my son's, lives in England with his wife and, and, and son. And he had a bad motorcycle accident where he broke his back close to close to being completely paralyzed. Uh, but thank God he, he, he was and God saved him. But he has all kinds of metal in his back, you know, to hold. But, but I never saw him <clears throat> in all of his posts and everything. I never saw him discouraged. I never saw him cursing. I never saw him. He was he 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 he, he uplifted people around him. Will you uplifted me just with your attitude? I mean that that was that was hard laying in a hospital there, not able to move for weeks at a time, not knowing exactly how well you would be, but not giving up and keeping a smile on your face. That's what Jesus is talking about. That's what he's talking about. Be a light. Do people do people know that you're a Christian? Do they know? It amazes me sometimes. I hear a story of. <clears throat> two people working together side by side in a in a factory and 10 years later or more the one discovers that the other one is a christian and says oh wow i didn't know you're a christian i'm a christian too and it's kind of, how, how do you work together side by side for that long and not realize that you're both a christian obviously you're not light obviously you were not salt be salt be a light okay god bless you Thank you for watching this morning. I appreciate every single one of you that continue to watch these uh, these videos. If this spoke to you, be willing to share it with others. Uh, tonight is our youth group crash. I'm going to be singing a couple songs. I'm warning you ahead of time in case you're thinking of it. Uh, God bless you. Have a great, great day. See you.